I know there was, I mean, Lori, I think there was a couple of um, questions about, you know, I mean, basically selling to smaller clients, and, and, and I don't think you guys are any different than we are. I mean, yeah, we've got a couple of big clients, but most of our clients are in that 15 user range as well, um, you know, from a number standpoint. So as Dan was saying earlier, I mean, it's all just a question of usage. I mean, you could have a small company that's 15 users that's a real estate, um, you know, closing office or something like that, where every, you know, they're 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 printing volumes of of closing documents to be signed. You know, everybody gets a copy. If you ever bought a house, it's like you know, there's trees just falling left and right. And so, even though they're a small company, they may actually do a lot of printing. And at the end of the day, if they're if they're like we are internally, you know, we're pretty automated. We try to not print very much, um, and we're only printing a couple thousand copies a month. Okay, so. You know, you're only going to make maybe ten dollars a month off of us, or seven fifty a month off of us. But if you've got a bunch of those, they do tend to add up, and that's the that's the key. Um, anyway, that, and the other thing I, I, I see out there is um, what's the it, maybe Keith, you can take us through what is the process from the time that, that an alert happens um, and maybe the options that there's a low toner or a low ink. Take us through what what's the process um, to get the customer that ink. Sure. Um, well, the toner and ink levels can be uh, set, so you can set them at 15% out, 10%, 5%. So whatever uh, toner level out that is agreed upon as we set up the customer, um, it's simple. Once it hits that, it will automatically trigger shipment of that supply to the customer, and it will just show up at their door the next day. Um, we then invoice at the end of the month, invoice the uh, MSP, and the MSP then will turn around and invoice their customer. So that's an, that's an automated process. If they need service, they can call their MSP, and uh, the MSP can literally just go right online, log in, schedule service for them. It will be handled. If we see a service alert, we will communicate that to the MSP. For example, um, let's say uh, an alert showed that they had 10 paper jams in a three-week period. That could potentially indicate that there's an issue with the roller. So maybe there could be an on-site quick, you know, take a look at the printer. What do you, you know, what should we send out a service tech? That type of a call. Yeah, that's a whole other thing. I mean, we don't have printer techs on staff. You know, I don't know how many of you guys actually fix printers. You know, I mean, it's a different person that does that. You know, back in my CompUSA days, we used to have them, but you know, not we don't have it today. So now that this is a whole other area that opens up to you is if you need if you need service on a printer, you have somebody that you can go to, and, and the rates are are you know quoted, and you can basically uh, dispatch somebody out to take care of it.